This looks amazing. What's up everyone, that's your boy Gomzi and you're watching Go Vlog. So today, new vlog, new setup. I'm going to use the floor setup here. And I'm going to use two Godox MS300. One is here and I'm going to put it one over here. And uh, as a key light or as a vlogging light, I'm using another uh, Godox uh, continuous light over here. And uh, this is the setup over here I'm going to use. And I have a product which is right here. This is the another prop I'm going to use and it's rice. So yeah, let's start the vlog. So guys, I have put my camera over there on a stand and uh, I'll try my best to show you everything over here. These are the two flashlights I'm going to use. Sorry about the mess. <laughs> So as I'm going to use this uh, float setup, so I'll try my flashlights to be closed and I'll go grab my camera. So we'll install the battery in there. Make sure you have the memory card in there because sometimes we are firing without the memory card and end of the day we will realize, oh, we missed the shots. <laughs> so always make sure the lens is clean because in product photo shoots, we need to make sure no dust particles on the products of the lens. So I'll fire some test shots. And the result is, is too bright. So I'll set up my light. I'll set up my light physically, the height of the light. I'll fix my shutter speed and my F number and my ISO. So usually I put 100 ISO but uh, today the product is a little dark so I'll put ISO 200, F11 and aperture shutter speed is 125. Let's try one more time. Yeah, it's better. So now my camera is all set. I'll play around with the flashlights. So I'll put A which is my left hand side, 16. And then B, which is my right side flash, I'll put 16 as well. And uh, let's see the result. Yeah, it's better, it's good. What I'll do, I'll change the light positions a little bit to get the optimum results little bit light changing mm, let's try again yep it's better you can see the quality of the picture it's way better than before before it was too bright the exposure was too high so what I will do, I will use the tripod for this because I need to use the same angle for those uh, products, right? 
for the post production it's easy for them to uh, manipulate with the products so yeah i'll grab the tripod if you guys are serious about photography about product photo shoots make sure you guys use the tripod because it's very important part of the photography especially when you're using a continuous light in continuous light you can use your slow shutter speed and and that so slow shutter you can control the light right to avoid the blurredness or the shakiness of the camera in slow shutter you have to have a tripod a sturdy good tripod okay now make sure it's all level and set up So here I will show you the sneak peek. So I have set up my tripod and this is on an angle and my camera will go here. I'll show you how it works. By the way this is a newer tripod and uh, so far it's good. I like it. The model number is N284 plus go g o go it's newer it's it's pretty good i'm using this tripod from a uh, week and uh, so far so good i like it okay so i'll fix the angle so the same angle will be in all pictures so my trigger battery was low and i have replaced the new batteries here now the shoot has begun again so here i will try to shoot different angles with and without those are the tongs very tiny usually we use the macro lens for tiny products but we will be using the same lens as we don't have micro lens yet but we have already ordered it and we'll get it soon okay. the same protocol we are going to use It takes time to set up the tripod and the first time but it's very convenient because it gives you the actual quality plus it gives you the angle you want for every picture. What we'll do, we'll set it up. Something like this. And we'll see how it looks in the camera. Something like that. If I need to change, I will change according to the picture, according to my 
plan. Okay. Yeah, this looks so far, so I will try to tighten up that. Let's see how this looks. Oh, beautiful. Try this. This looks amazing. Always try a unique angle, unique style for every picture because you never know which one uh, you use it at the end of the day. Okay. So this is pretty much what I'll do. I'll make sure the tripod is a little bit on a higher position so I can use a different angle from the above. We'll use the top angle. Okay. So product photography is a little bit tricky little bit time consuming little bit boring but if you like it you do it yeah this looks good what i'll do i'll change a little bit the position right here this is a big product i, I want you i want this product on a corner this right here, maybe this, a little bit, and check the result, always click picture to check the results, how it looks, it's not hiding one product to the other product, because this is a small product, it's hiding the small one, the big, per big products are hiding the small product, so that's not a good picture, so always See through the viewfinder how this looks. Take a sample picture. So this picture is pretty good. I like it.
all right guys i hope you guys are liking the vlogs make sure you guys subscribe the channel and uh, i will post the link of my instagram as well because instagram is the current uh, channel where i'm posting on live videos a boomerang uh, pictures you know so um, yeah uh, this is all about uh, this is a product photography uh, channel and uh, from now because lots of lots of videos are coming and uh, if you guys want to learn anything you want to enjoy the videos make sure you subscribe and at the end of the video i'm going to post all the pictures i'm taking right now with the final touch up so yeah i hope you guys like it take care see ya